here we are. We're in downtown Reykjavik. I'll be taking uh, six awesome guests on basically just a 24 hour kind of exploration of my favorite food, culture, places, hot springs, glaciers, and pretty much everything you can get your hands into on a chilly November month in Iceland. What's up, stranger? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, take the wrong bus to Page, Arizona? Yeah. Just go to Monument Valley? Yeah. Dude, Milo, Dude what's bro? up? Milo in Iceland, <laughs> holy hell. <laughs> Did not see this one coming. Seriously, dude. I am. Um, this place is already insane. I know. It's awesome. It's freezing. It it's is. cold. And I'm um, gonna go, gonna go get after it. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I mean, it's so funny because I'm so eager to like chat with you and, and talk to you, but I, but I know your story. And I feel like everybody who like might be watching this, maybe they don't know your story. So I think it's best to maybe like give people an insight to like who's Navajo Milo and, and um, what the heck is Navajo Milo doing in Iceland? A little <laughs> so bit. So I'm from uh, the northern part of Arizona on the res, the, the Navajo Nation, and a um, little chapter called Copper Mine, Beish so that's what we call it in, in our language. Go between there and Salt Lake. We have also live in Salt Lake, so kind of travel between the two a ton. And that's epic. I mean, and, and nowadays you're utilizing. I mean, obviously, I learned this from knowing you in your film, but you're utilizing photography as a tool to not only, you know, keep you inspired, you know, pay the bills, but also you're, you're utilizing as a tool to support and help others within your community. And really, the last like five years, right? That's yeah, kinda... since uh, gosh, 2015 is when it all started. Okay, really, so yeah, like five years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been, we visited, um, I, not physically, but we sent a lot of our uh, tools to different you know, reservations, even all the way into California. Yeah, wow. Uh, and we were supposed to do a trip to Vancouver to yeah. continue the project up there because the need is very similar. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, photography has just been, it's been crazy how, uh, you know, taking pretty landscape images have really morphed into focusing more on people and yeah. their, you know, their footprint in the environment that oh, they're in and why epic. why it's important to them. Dude, well, I'm psyched. I'm I'm stoked to finally <laughs> bring you somewhere that is. This is kind of like my Monument Valley, <laughs> like, a little bit like you 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 have this you know, pension, this passion for you know the Southwest. Obviously, you know yeah. it like so well. So yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. We'll have a little adventure today. Yeah. We'll drive out there. And we have like an hour drive. Oh, I don't know how to drive a car, so. <laughs> First time driving a stick. <laughs> Let's cut that out of the video. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome, man. Yeah. I really appreciate the, Dude, the invite. Yeah, and yeah bro, the invite, are you kidding me? Like, all I really <laughs> wanted to do with this whole project was just invite out friends who haven't been here. I love taking people to kind of like hidden gems, you know? Yeah. Like coming here and being like, well, this is something that on your own would be hard to find or would be kind of off the beaten path or you know it's not going to be on the typical tourist map so yeah. to me like that's a big part of I think what makes travel special you know and I know you you love that because that's like what you're always looking for you know it's like what's that unique perspective or what's that unique angle that I don't know comes from just going there for you know tons yeah, of I, years or and, and I think it's so much easier to connect with that place than the the popular places too yeah. you know so here we are pastry stop this is uh it's like still dark, 9 a.m. <laughs> um, sun's probably not gonna rise for like 45 minutes, but uh, it's time to uh, fill, dive, fill our bellies for a second. Let's do it. We are going to uh, earn our pastries today instead of just uh, picking them up the old school way. We're gonna go uh, whip a couple up with uh, Red Bear. Whoa! First stop is right here, two feet away. Do this. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. That's like artwork right there. I mean, it's with us like everything else. Practice makes, makes perfect. Almonds. Almonds. It's crazy. Work, work the edge here? Yeah. Yes. Good to use your little hands. Okay, ready, Burkhardt? <laughs> 
Hopefully these customers won't be mad. <laughs> My mouth is literally watering right now. I'm not kidding you. People are going to buy some of these and they'll be like, oh, what happened here? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like elves made these. Look how perfect they are, man. Yeah. I don't know. I see some. I see some imperfections here. So. <laughs> We're going to the cinnamon roll sweat lodge. <laughs> Did you just say that? That's amazing. We're a little bit better behind the camera, not behind some. Kitchen yeah. knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, this smells so good. That's crazy. <laughs> bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Woo! Enjoy. Ah! Oh my god. Whoa. Holy oh, cow. Been all over Europe, I don't know how many times, but this yeah. is. Hands down, that is like the single you can't top it. Yeah. Ooh. Got some customers that ordered these. Oh wow, they're so warm. They're so warm. You can feel it. Yeah. Best you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Thank you. Well, we're pastried up. We're well fed. Oh my goodness, yes we are, <laughs> aren't we? Oh my gosh, that was that was full on. I was not. I was expecting to like whip up a couple. You know, pieces of uh, of bread or something like that, but that was like full on. We made that? like 55 cinnamon rolls. Yeah, exactly, and they were all pretty much terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of figured it was like today was a stormy day, so rather than try to go hide from a storm where it's kind of like crappy weather, we might as well just go right into the eye of the oh, whole yeah. thing and just uh, see what it's all about. So, hit it head on. Yeah, hit it head on and uh, really embrace it. Whoa. Woo! crazy how there's a rock out there that just gets completely covered in water. The waves are that huge. It's unreal, man. This is so crazy. It's powerful. taste of it. This oh. is like iconic Iceland. Yeah. I love bad weather though. Me too. Yeah, like I love it like when there's like a blizzard or just I don't know, I don't know what it is about it, man, but I the the scarier, the crazier the weather, like the well, more that, I feel like I'm in my space, you know. The reality is like the more the, the harsher the weather, the, the the greater chance of unique lighting situations, right? Like where there's like a strip of light on the mountain or there's you know, just a sliver. I mean, that's what makes what we do so interesting. And you're in the you're in the Southwest, so you can attest to the fact that like all those summer days when it's like, you know, when it's just perfectly bluebird, like that's so uninteresting. You know? Yeah. And then the images, yeah. like you just sometimes you get the storm of the century, you know, or, yeah. or the season, and and that could create just like a, a beautiful photograph, you know. You know, usually like on these trips where I go a ways away, I I love to uh, you know come back with more like local knowledge and tell the kids, our kids, like um, you know, like the baker, the guy's been there for 15 years, and he, he his story of moving from the countryside to there, and and then he just fell in love with it. And now it's like he's like, I can't believe I work here. Yeah. It's like, wow. he just gets so excited about, you know, creating what he does and yeah. and, you, and it shows. Yeah, there's like an actual passion for what they do. Yeah. That's really rewarding, right? Yeah. 
he's just got this natural smile on his face because you know that guy is doing something that he he enjoys. You realize how like that same passion can translate to so many things. It translates to making bread, you know, whatever. Bread, a uh, drink. Yeah, a drink. Vehicles exactly. or, yeah. you know, it's like, I think that's probably like the, maybe the, I don't want to say instant, but just the natural result is that if you're passionate about something, it's probably going to turn out pretty good. Yeah, totally. And above that, it's like, how can whatever I do, like, make somebody else's life better? You know, and... Um, uh, interesting. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and sometimes there's a hard, it's hard to make that connection through, like, photography. It's easier when you're, like, you know, building a house or you're helping somebody yeah. with, like, service work. But when you're using photography as a means of providing service, it's, it's challenging. Um, but I, that's what I, I look up to your work so much because of that, because you, you kind of found that, like that transition, you found the way to make that happen. Um, it's really interesting to me. Milo, my man, dude, we are bakers now. <laughs> we yeah, are we bakers are. and we have salt all over our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that was a heinous day of weather, but I appreciate wild, I wouldn't rather spend any time in a car with anybody else talking about life and the best. I appreciate yeah. you so much for coming out. You betcha, man. Yeah, yeah. See you soon, brother. Yep. Yeah. Shout. On to the next one. <laughs>